So I don't think people actually understand the 40 hour work week and where this idea came from. Um, we don't even venture to find out where it came from, but I did because, you know, <laughs> I, I, I don't want motherfuckers to tell me what to do. <laughs> Just period, <laughs> period. You know what I'm saying? I want to feel like I agree with this idea that you are putting forth. So here's Henry Ford. <clears throat> was an American industrialist and a business magnate, former uh, founder of Ford Motor Company, right? This is who this guy is. Uh, Ford was also widely known in his periph. I don't know, during the first years of the World War I and, and for promoting anti-Semitic content including Protocols of the Elders of Zion through the newspapers, Dearborn Independent, and the book, The International Jews, <clears throat> having an alleged inf influence on the development of Nazism. So Rothschilds, they, they would fund both sides. Apparently, they, he was getting funded by the Rothschilds. It doesn't say that here. But alleged influence on the development of Nazis, you know, <laughs> sometimes we look at the information and we can't connect the dots. I'm trying to do that for you. But when you look at history, you find out that Rothschilds did fund both sides of the war. It was funding Hitler and it was funding the British, the Euro Europe, right? A lot of people don't really understand how that works, but this nigga is the one that came up with the 40 hour work week. And it's actually 48 hour work week. In addition to raising his workers wage, Ford also introduced a new reduced work week right the decisions was made in 1922 was was for who the hell um when ford and crawler described it as six eight dot eight hour days a you're giving a 48 hour week. But in 1926, it was announced as five eight hour days, given 40 hour work week. Apparently, the program started with South being, with Saturday being a work day, and sometime later it changed to the day off. So he came up with this, and we adhere to it. You know. I always go back to, you know, how we think about things and how we allow these things to govern our minds and show us, you know, the perspective that the world wants us to, to look at instead of us finding out what the true perspective of an issue is and learning how, learning how to discern between the two. You know, we don't we we don't discern between good and evil anymore. We just do it based off of emotions. So he came up with that. Forty hour work week. Does that mean we have to do that? You know? They say, Oh, if you're working for a company you should whatever, whatever. But I think that the only necessities that should be for men to work is to protect and to create a, a, a safe place for the women and children. That's the only thing that should be counted as work for men. 
there could be more, you know, but saying as a common thing between all men, that's what it should be. Right? We all got extremely lazy through time. Let me see, man. I'm not all amped up, you know what I'm saying? I just talk at my calm uh, uh, pace because I want y'all to understand what I'm saying. I don't want to be misleading people unintentionally, you know. The Smithsonian. This is another place you can't trust, bro. You just can't. Like, why would you want to trust these people? They take giant bones and different things and hide them so that we don't know. You know? I usually never have, like, a real thing to, that I want to go over. But I want us to, to be able to look at the information of of certain things and make our own decisions if it's good or bad for us. Is that not a legitimate concern? Is that not a legitimate concern for people? So he was anti-Semitic and then they say that this book is actually false. Which, if you look at what's going on in the world today, I don't see how it is false. You know? It's false because we said so. I just do service love. If y'all think they lying about everything, that's on you, man. So. Operation Paperclip was a secret program of a joint intelligence op operative agency largely carried out by special agents in which more than 16... Hundred German scientists, engineers, technicians, such as this guy, the guy that created NASA, created NASA. You know, look at the time periods for these things. You know what I'm saying? Forty-six. He's dying around the time. This guy was around. You know, that guy was around. Around the same time, I think they didn't um, interact with each other with all the foolishness that they had going on back then. Uh, many were former members and some were former leaders of the Nazi party. Operation Paperclip brought these people into the United States for this. It came from this. Right? This is the people that you actually see um, that have been taken over. Fucking Hydra. <laughs> These people are Hydra. You know? I think uh, there's people that go over that how the CIA has groups that are black or, or, you know, separate from the organization itself. And we have no idea about none of this stuff. Like Kanye West said, you get putting contracts in front of me and you know Negroes can't read. <laughs> so I have, my, I have to have my lawyer look at the paperwork that you're giving and then trust my lawyer too like he's not in it with you guys 
You know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here. So, um, Operation Paperclip brought these people over here, man. And they created NASA. Let's see if I can find that. Oh, I already brought up Daniken, Von Braun, or Wannikin, whatever the hell. Oh. The NASA in Indistinguished Service Medal. Let's see. Uh, and NASA in Hebrew is deceiver or dis to deceive or something like that. But yeah, they brought this guy over. He created NASA. You know, was a, a German born American astrospace engineer and space architect. He was a leading found figure in the development of rocket technology in Nazi Germany. His group was assimilated into NASA. NASA. Sometimes, man, we, 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 we don't really understand what these people are doing. We think it's all a joke. We think it's all a joke. All a joke. It's conspiracy. Because the earth is round. These are the people helping push that narrative, right? They come from a long line of baby eaters. And I heard that they use that as currency. That's their currency. Currency. It's their currency. See, look at that. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Firmament, firmament. What's that? Firmament. Sometimes I don't know where I'm going to go with stuff. A vault or arch of the sky. A field or a sphere. The first one says a vault. A vault is like a like a dome shape. A arch. You know? But this is what you this is what you're doing with people that know you're not going to study and look up the definitions of words and even care about it because you are chasing money they put you know musicians and artists in your face to make you chase after uh material things chains cars girls instead of actual actually obtaining knowledge you know that 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 can fuck you up too that can fuck you up too mid 13th century from an old french firmament by the way it's a noun because it's a thing Directly from Latin firmamentum, firmament, literally a support or strength, strengthening from firmus, strong, st steady, fast, enduring, to hold firmly support. Remember in Genesis, it tells you he, he opened the firmament so the waters could come from the heavens. Right. Translated to Hebrew, Rakwa or Rikwi or Kai, Ka, Raka, or Raka. I'm going to get into that another time, but a word 
use of both the vault of the sky and this and the floor and the floor of the earth in the Old Testament probably literally expanse to spread out to make firm or solid so you know definitions be there is just that we don't take the time to find out for ourselves we just believe whatever these people are saying you know whatever they say that's that's what it means you you got it the day and the night utterly speak the day unto day unto day uttereth speech and night unto night showeth knowledge there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard so we started here Henry Ford right 40 hour work week 48 and they said oh he made it less he, <laughs> he, was, he was trying to make it less so that people could work less let's read that part again it's funny So, oh, go down here. For, for uh, in addition to raising his workers' wage, Ford also introduced a new reduced work week. How is eight hours reduced for six days reduced? I thought we was free since the Emancipation Proclamation. What is this? Now workers are telling us how everybody is supposed to work. This is a this is a fraud. This is a clear clear out fraud. Ford was dedicated, uh, decided to boost in productivity as working with working, which expected to put more effort into work their work in exchange for more leisure time and because he delivered decent leisure time what a day remember this is what he wanted a day was good for business since workers would have more time to purchase and consume more goods there it is pursue purchase and consume more goods it was always a a, a a goal of them for them to to hypnotize us through MK Ultra and different things like that, but that was the goal. All them wording wordings and shit to induce hypnosis to to dazzle or overcome by as if wait to dazzle or overcome by or as if by suggestion so this is what it is hypnosis So, let me finish this up. I appreciate you guys watching, man. Peace.